Hi, friends. Welcome back to Toy Get List. Your we are, are just around the corner lips. from the DCEU's Black Adam movie, many, many years in development. Passion project for Mr. Dwayne The Rock Johnson right here. We're going to take a look at his figure featuring Throne, all for $19.99. Go, Todd, go. Great big window here, plastic free. These are not, and they show no signs of being so big, bold. Letrin on the side here, another logo for the movie. Flip to the far side a little more. We're gonna we're gonna name the character on every on every side of the box. A little bit more of a window there. All of this on the bottom with the barcode. Black Adam again. How about up here? Ooh, Black Adam again. One more. This is every side of the box. It says Black Adam at least one time, sometimes twice. And interestingly, this is an illustration. Also featured, I think, drawn to look like The Rock himself. Let's get into it. These are easy enough to get into. Ooh, no tape up there. Slice, slice. Come down here, slice this one as well. Pull the whole thing out. Away that goes. There he is on the card. And on here, of course, we have a card and a stand. Pretty standard. I know, how exciting. I'm watching this guy unpack the stand. And a little card. And the throne. And Ted Thadam himself. Right out of the package, like... So, taking a closer look at the figure itself, I do like to throw in a brief rundown of the character as I'm talking here. But the way they have this set up with the card, it almost seems silly to say things that contradict this and or yada yada, save this for later. What, what if we just read this to start? Hailed as the slave who became champion, the mortal Teth Adam was bestowed the powers of the gods, transforming into a fearsome, super-powered being at the utterance of a single magic word. Shazam! He freed his people from the King of Kondok before grief over the loss of his family turned to cold fury, and he was entombed for his vengeful actions. Nearly five thousand years later, Black Adam is freed from his slumber and finds himself in a world, in a world, he does not recognize. Now he must try to see himself, not as Kondok's destroyer, but its savior. Anyway, slide all this crap out of the way for a minute, and... The original character of Black Adam is one of DC Comics' oldest superheroes. I think uh, before it was DC, back when it was Fawcett Comics. 1945? 1945, yes. I don't know why I said that like I didn't know that. Was I trying to come off as more relatable? This is a pretty nice looking figure. A hot toy this is not, but I think this is recognizable as Mr. Johnson. Look at that, you can even see some veins popping on the head. Some nice ear sculpting there. Neck rolls. As usual for a McFarlane release, you get this nice sculpted detail. What's not always usual, though, is the uh, the extra paint here on the back of the figure. That's great, that's great. Otherwise, I mean, it is pretty simple. Black, yellow, gold. But I think it's effective. It looks so far like what I've seen in the movie trailers. They've added some extra paint here to... Uh, to simulate this being sort of lit up, that I think that's working. The Rock here certainly did not need a padded suit. Visible pins, but it's all black on black, so it's not a big deal there. More nice sculpting in these gauntlets down here. Bracers, whatever. This is a separate piece, right? A little pad over the hand. He comes with an open hand and a fisted hand. They're, you know, detailed as well as you would expect. Hinge goes pretty high into that one. Okay. This armband could have just been black, but they did they did take the time to paint that properly. In a couple of colors even. It's got that little black wash on it. So that's nice. And the consistency of that throughout, I think, is really cool. This uh, piece over the leg here, the, the shin guard, this one seems to be glued sort of off-center. So that's, that's, that's a little funny. More of the sculpted line work down here. I think th this was all for the movie, though, so this isn't really toddified, but you know this is exactly what he would do. Pins at the knees. Hinges at the feet. And it's got that sort of sculpted uh, sculpted ball down here at the ankle, which I, I absolutely love. Instead of just like a plain round ball, they've sculpted it to look like part of the, well, sculpt. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
peg holes on the bottoms of the feet, and they've hidden all the rest of this garbage down here too. I love it. Of course, these aren't the nicest toys on the market, but it certainly, it certainly looks like what it's supposed to look like. Looking at the accessories, it's pretty much just the one. That's half the selling point here is that he comes with a throne in the same package for 20 buck. Of course, also the figure stand and card. These are obligatory McFarlane pack-ins. Not mad about those. This would be the reason you would buy this release though, of course, and it's very light, it's completely hollow, but you're not gonna be looking at it that way anyway. It's a display piece and I think it looks great, really. All of this unique sculpting, I don't know how this compares to what it may be based on in the film. It's, it's probably close, right? The sides are, are plain, except we have that extra paint in there, right? Yeah, that's great, that's great. I like this thing. I understand that it's completely simple, as cheap as they could make it while it still works, and they're able to pack it in without changing the price of the figure itself. It's sort of akin to McFarlane's... Um, the Batman 66, like, play sets that they've got, it's like that. It's just some, some hollow display pieces to throw into something, something like I've got here, you know? Moment of truth, can he sit the throne? His legs just take a, a little bit of working to get to that point. Soft plastic diaper crotch piece, how he do. Essentially, though, no, no problem sitting in this throne. That's actually really freaking cool. Looking at the articulation, McFarlane's got his standard scheme, 22 moving parts as stated on the package. And as I have stated before, I think the cuts are starting to work better as, as we progress here. The head is on a dumbbell joint, so it'll come back this far. Yeah, that's pretty all right for flying. It'll pop off pretty easy if you try to force beyond that, but you can see what they've done. And as I referenced in the Arbiter video, these pegs sometimes, if you just dot them with little knobs, they, they kind of, they hold better. It's almost the equivalent of like a ratcheted leg joint or something. Ish. Yeah, push that back down in. You can look down this far. And because it's a dumbbell, you get all kinds of crazy tilt. Ball jointed shoulders come up this far. They'll rotate all the way around. They have the little cup like they do. It's not quite a butterfly joint, but you do get that little bit extra back and forth. Bicep cut here, molded into it nice and tight. Double jointed elbows, get both of those joints working and you can fold that all the way in half. Both of the hands are hinged in and out and they will rotate all the way around. He has a diaphragm joint, and look how well that works. Side to side, can crunch forward this far. This lightning piece is a softer material, and he can come back a little bit, but it starts looking crazy. It starts looking crazy. Just sculpt that a little bit, you know, a little smoother so that you can pull it back. And this is just sort of pegged into the waist, and it is mostly round, so that will actually spin. Waist piece is a diaper, but it's it's not as accommodating in some areas here. The legs will come out to the sides like all the way. You can fully do the splits here. He is in, he is in great shape, right? Uh, forward, you'll want to work those up kind of gently because it, this diaper piece does try to hinder. Or maybe it's just more on this side because of the stiffer belt piece. Yeah. yeah. Back, uh, same, same deal. This is a softer piece though, so it will kind of move with you. No thigh cut, but they do have some some rotation on that. You can see it's this this standard craziness inside of there. Double jointed knees with visible pins. They will come all the way back this far. The proportions look pretty decent. Yeah, maybe that upper thigh is kind of stumpy. Nothing at the calf. You get down here to the foot though. It'll come back this far, forward this far until you run into the shin guard. Rocker is where it gets iffy, though. You get almost nothing. It seems like it's pegged straight down into the foot, and you kind of want to, you kind of want to peg those into the front of the foot. Far be it for me to teach you guys how to do your job, but here we are. Here we are. You do get these silly little toe hinges. It 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 is nice for that extra little bit, depending on the poses you're looking for. So I won't fault extra points of articulation. 
Not bad. What you'd expect from McFarlane, but, you know, it, they, it works a little better. They work a little better all the time. And you know what else, too? It's not freakishly loose. It's not freakishly loose. They all have to obey the laws of gravity, though. What do you want? The McFarlane Toys DC Multiverse Black Adam movie Black Adam is 7 and 3 eighths of an inch. And the throne is 6 inches high by 5 inches wide. From the same company, a couple of comic book counterparts here. That is the DC Multiverse Page Punchers Looney Body Black Adam and Beefcake Billy Batson as Joker Lips Shazam. Stand aside, Diana. He's rock hard for the man of steel. And now, in the four-hour cut of this review, Henry Cavill is back as Superman and as Geralt of Rivia. Bet he's got a sword for you. These guys are in a slightly smaller scale, but still, that's Mattel's Macho Man and China. China. Hasbro, Marvel Legends, Ryan Reynolds, and Letitia Wright. Patience and perseverance, children. Black Adam, Between Two Ferns. And finally, for a standard 7-inch size comparison, the figures that started it all, McFarlane's Wave 1, Batman, and Superman. To retread at the end here, I think he definitely looks the part. For a $20 figure, it doesn't go above and beyond, less the inclusion of the stand. That's really cool. Let's spotlight that some more. You get like a throne for him to sit on, or for anyone, for a lot of figures to sit on. No, go ahead, sit on his throne, let him catch you. It's got that freakish, overly striated costume, which sort of is McFarlane's style, but uh, th this is a movie design, and I think it captures it well. I like the extra paint. I know there's not a whole lot going on, but what they've put there is fine. It's definitely recognizable as The Rock. These guys aren't known for their fantastic facial likenesses. And you know what? Thinking about it now, maybe this is the best one. I mean, they, they looked, in my opinion, piss poor before. The likenesses are ludicrous. I would have loved a John Cena Peacemaker figure, and I got him, but it doesn't look at all like John Cena. Accessories, like I already touched on, man, it's that throne. That thing is king here. Otherwise, you get the standard little stand. Flight stand would be cool. I think the other release comes with one. This one's for sitting. The articulation, if you played with the McFarlane figures before, you sort of know what to expect. That standard 22 points. And th those points all work pretty well here, except that ankle rocker. That's kind of an important one, man. Make sure that works. But otherwise, you get good range on all of the cuts that they've given us. I don't mind that at all. That movie is coming out in like a week. Maybe I'll review the other JSA figures. That, that's kind of a nice touch. Uh, reviews are kind of mixed, but honestly, they're a little more favorable than I thought. I'm, I'm happy for The Rock. I know he's been chasing this thing as a passion project, all like Ryan Reynolds and Deadpool way back. And honestly, I always found this guy to be an enjoyable actor. You could feel the, the charisma, you know what I mean? The rundown, Sean William Scott, what happened to that guy? <laughs> so, of course, uh, the Black Adam movie is a prequel to the Shazam movie, where they, they did hint at that character, but... Didn't the wizard say that he killed millions? He killed millions? We're like, redemption arc, he's an anti-hero. No, pretty sure he's an irredeemable POS who killed millions. <laughs> so good luck with that. But anyways, in this world of all the price point pissing of today, I, I think that this is a pretty good value. McFarlane Toys still holding them down at $19.99. I really appreciate all you guys being here, and since you're here, go ahead and leave a like on this video. You know you want to. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new. That's not a reason to subscribe. Subscribe because you want to see more of this. As always, I will be here holding it down. I'll see you guys next time. Thanks.